What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released iOS 16 Developer Beta 4 to developers, and in a little bit, they'll release it to public beta testers probably tomorrow. And in this video, I'll be showing you everything new that has come out in iOS 16 Developer Beta 4. If we take a look at the size here, it has come on 1.67 gigabytes on my iPhone 13, and my iPad mini 6 generation, it came out in 1.4 gigabytes. So that means that we have a ton of changes found in iOS 16, which are most likely a lot of bug fixes. So if we take a look at the build number here, we have an H at the end of the build number. The public beta build had a J at the end of the build number, which indicates that we are getting closer. Now, something I noticed here is that there is a new glyph icon right here in music, and that these are now rounded corners instead of just, you know, squared off which makes the playlists look a lot better. I think that was unchanged, I'm not 100% sure. Now, a little bug fix we have here is with these dots, and they would like be unaligned and uncentered and not properly in place. So now if we did move them, it looks like I have not had this once in beta 4. They are now properly aligned and not going all over the place. In the files application, we now have this new quick actions button. If we take a look at it, we have markup and optimized file size. We do still have to remove background. It's just been moved into this quick actions thing right here. And I think this is a lot better. We just like, it matches with macOS where we have, we have quick actions right here and we have the remove, background, rotate, and everything like that. For some reason, I keep noticing that the emoji wallpaper icon keeps changing every single beta, which is kind of strange in my opinion. So I guess Apple just wants it to look the best or something? I don't know. Apple can't seem to decide if they want this automatic or not, for by default, the battery icon is automatic. So I don't really like it automatic, so I'm just gonna set it to manual. And that's the workaround if you do not want it set to automatic. I forgot to mention this in beta 3, we have a new feature called lockdown mode, which basically tries to prevent malware like the Pegasus one we had last year. So if you are highly targeted, this like removes a lot of features that Pegasus and other sp spyware take advantage of. Oh, and if you're like a hacker or something, Apple is actually willing to pay a lot of money for people to somehow bypass this. So Apple is really confident that this works. So just like, you know, if you're a hacker or something and you want to try to figure out how to bypass lockdown mode. Now, some people have been saying that Apple Music has been really bad lately, but I have not been been experiencing the issues, but some people have been saying that Apple Music has been better and hopefully it is 100% fixed in beta 4. We're gonna see about that, don't keep your hopes up. When opening up a game, even if you did press continue on the splash screen, we do get a new pop-up for the game center once again. So now let's test gaming performance and see if it has improved in beta 4. Alright, here comes the moment of truth. Is the issue fixed with my contour? And it appears to have been fixed. Gaming has been fixed, pretty much, or it's either that Mario Kart Tour has optimized. So if you have an app that doesn't work on iOS 16, please leave in the comments down below so I can continue testing when more betas come out in the future. Now last but not least, let's run a Geekbench test to see how well iOS 16 is holding up compared to beta 3. Comparing it to, to the public beta, we do have a little improvement in beta 4. So if you are experiencing performance issues, this may be a good idea to update. But if you're wondering about comparing it to iOS 15.5, it is still not on par with iOS 15.5. So I would still hold off on updating if you really want performance to stay the same. If you're upgrading from iOS 15. That is all I have to say about iOS 16 beta 4. Thanks for watching, come like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!